Welcome to Simply Fun's Online School of Playology. Today, we're going to need a steady hand and a thoughtful plan as we learn to play Simply Fun's Sticks and Stunts. Sticks and Stunts is best played with people ages 8 and up and can be played with 2 to 6 players. Each Sticks and Stunts game box contains 6 double-sided bingo boards and 72 bingo markers to mark the winning spots each round. There are also 90 stunt sticks, 15 each of 6 bright colors, and 6 sticks and stunts screens behind which players will keep their stunt sticks. You'll also find 158 activity cards in 8 categories, including Lucky Sticks, Skill Challenge, Speed Builder, Secret Plans, Memory Builder, Create It, Number Whiz, and Knowledge Master. 16 two-sided number tokens from 1 to 16 round out the contents of the box. Players will learn communication skills by reading activity cards aloud and instructing other players to build structures and complete various activities. They'll also develop their fine motor skills with thoughtful planning and steady hand movements as they build structures, create images, and complete balancing acts using the multicolor sticks. To set up the game, first decide if you will play as individuals or on teams. Distribute the stunt sticks to all players or teams, giving everyone at least two sticks of each color. All players or teams select one bingo board and one screen in the same color. Stack the 16 number tokens, number side down, in random order. Place the stack within reach of all players. Place the 72 bingo markers into several smaller piles and then place them within the play area. Shuffle the activity cards and place about half the cards, activity side up, near the center of the play area, forming a draw deck. The starting player is the card reader for the first round. The card reader completes the following actions in each round. Flip over the top number token to reveal the number. If a player or players win the activity, this is the number they will cover on their bingo boards with a marker during that round. Next, take the top activity card, face up, from the deck of activity cards. Do not look at the back of the card or allow other players to see it, as some cards have answers on the back. Read the front of the card out loud to the group and follow the instructions. During play, a player must try to complete the activity on the card he draws. If playing in teams, choose one member of the team to lead in completing the activity on the card in each round. For example, if a Lucky Sticks activity card is drawn, Players must secretly select sticks and have all the other players guess the quantities or colors of the sticks chosen. If a Speed Builder card is drawn, players compete to be the fastest player to complete the structure shown on the card and present it before it falls down. Remember, there are eight different categories of activities, each consisting of different stunts to accomplish. Refer to the instruction booklet for examples of other kinds of activity cards. Once an activity is complete, the winning player, or team of players, may place one bingo marker over the bingo board number that corresponds to the number token. If the number is already covered, the player or team may choose any other open spot on the board to place the token. When a round is complete, place the activity card in the discard pile and return the number token to the bottom of the number token pile. The player to the left is the next card reader, and the next round begins. The game ends when the first player or team has four bingo markers in a row. Rows can be horizontal, vertical, or diagonal. Any direction wins the game. It's Ready, Set, Stunts with Simply Fun's Sticks and Stunts.